Alright y'all, I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade spider weights today. Get you a couple co-hangers. Just going to cut them up into equal spots. We're going to use for this wire. Now you can use household copper wiring too folks. That all works great. It just doesn't last very long. It doesn't hold very well. The other thing you can use, buy yourself a couple feet of Home Depot wire shelving. Cut these wires out of here. These are already the perfect length. You're going to need three wires per weight. Alright, take these wires here and bend a loop in it. And then just come a little ways up and bend you a 90 degree angle in it. And notice I'm not measuring anything. I'm just grabbing it, folks. You don't have to be exact. Bend it and bend it. Some people like to put a round screwdriver or something in there. I like a shape, something like this. I'm going to take and stick a little bit of that down in the vise, maybe an inch of it. You only need three or four inches right here. That's about it. Tighten it up. Clamp your vise grips. Get your little flame thrower here. Warm it up. Don't overheat it, it'll just break. And don't burn your fingers. nothing wrong with that at all perfect cool that down some now we can handle it I want to break one of these off don't need it and that hook I actually want a little bit bigger something like that right there maybe not quite that wide of a gap one of the easiest ways I know to make you a mold is take a piece of pipe cut her open put three grooves in it cut about halfway in on that other side take your three anchor wires and wrap that into your co-hanger. One one direction, one the other direction, and then one back the other direction you just came from. Take your pipe and some vice grips. Just clamp it closed. Feed that all up to the bottom. Line all those pieces up in the grooves. Now you get all those pieces in together and clamp. Put a piece of tin foil on the bottom. And just pinch that sides up around the wires. I'm trying to make kind of a bowl down there. Now we're going to put a little bit of water in this. And I mean a little bit, just a little bit. Water with hot lead dropped into it explodes. I'm warning you now, don't get burned. Don't put much water, just a couple drops. That was probably a teaspoon or less. Now for lead, you can go with your traditional weights and melt them down. I get these lead cutoffs from work. And I'll use these mostly. I'll use a propane stove with a ladle. Now wear safety glasses and everything. Alright, that should be plenty of lead, plenty hot. Remember, we're going to just touch a water, a teaspoon of water in the bottom of that mold. And we're going to dump this lead in, then I'm going to cool it afterwards. I'll let that start to harden up at the bottom. And then finish pouring. And then go ahead and dump some water on it to cool it. As you can see, a little bit of it came out the bottom. But you tin foil on that little bit of water helps to cool it down and hold it in there. Now we got to trim that little bit off and separate that pipe. I got me a big old screwdriver here. You got to pry this thing open. Not too bad. Just trim up the bottom a little bit. That's an easy way to make a spider weight. That's about 12 ounces right there, 10 to 12 ounces. All right, folks, that's cleaned up a little bit now. All you need to do is take your wires and just bend them a bit. Bend them the shape that you want them. I guarantee you this thing will hold. Very simple to make. 